Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. We rejoice as one more day begins. It's life pulsating inside of all of us. Whether incarnated or discarnated, we are all living under the loving care of God. And there's something for us to do. And today, Master Jesus is going to invite us into another step of understanding of ourselves and our role in life. But sometimes we are confused because we see evil and we want to correct it. And that was also how one of the disciples, Jude, asked a question about it to, to Jesus. And you can read more about it in chapter 7 of Chico Xavier's psychographed book, Good News, authored by Humberto de Campos. The question was, Lord, your reasoning illuminates my heart. But was I wrong when I expressed my feelings of mercy for malevolent spirits? So shouldn't we invite malevolent spirits to the right path? Sometimes we have the same question. If we shouldn't invite people who are in the wrong path to join the right path. And what does Jesus say? Jesus replied, Every excellent intention will be taken into just account in heaven. But we need to understand that we should not tempt God. I have accepted the struggle that the Father has given me. And I have made clear that each day has sufficient work to be done. I have never gathered my companions to provoke a reaction from those who delight in darkness. In all the circumstances and opportunities in which I gather them, I appealed to the sacred inspiration of the Almighty in support of our effort. The opponent is always someone in need who attends the banquet of our joys. And because of this need, although they were not invited, for I only invite the afflicted, the humble, and those of goodwill, I will never shut the doors of my heart to them. I see their presence as an opportunity to work for that which God judges us worthy. So we are asking Jude's question, should we invite wrong doors, malevolent people? To the right path. And Jesus is saying. Leave them alone. We have enough to do. We have to correct ourselves. In our case. There's so much work to be done. But of course. If any of them want our help. We'll extend our help. So our role. Is not to correct people. It's not to fix people. It's to correct ourselves, align ourselves. And if people want and need our help, of course, we will open our arms to them and reach out to them. Now it makes more sense. No wonder Jesus says the pathway with him is light. It's easy. We can't be omnipotent feeling that we are going to be fixing, saving people's lives. Even in psychology, we come to know 
of the risks of feeling like we are the savior of anybody's life. We are not. So Jesus then says, he'll never shut the doors of his heart to anyone. But he says, I see their presence as an opportunity to work for that which God judges us worthy. So if I do my best, that's the best way to influence people. Just by doing what we have to do. Right? What an invitation for a new beginning, a new day. Let us focus on ourselves and trust that God is taking care of everyone. Let us pray then, dear friends. Because as we pray, we are adjusting our vibrations so we can co-create in harmony, doing better today than we did yesterday. Thank you so much, Master Jesus. For this, the relief that you bring when you let us know that we're not here to police people, that we're not here to correct people, that we are here to co-create in love. And naturally share it with everyone we encounter. We breathe in this healing air and we breathe out the love that comes from God. And we visualize Light of love enveloping all of us, our homes, our family members, our neighbors, and this light travels throughout our streets, cleansing the atmosphere. Encouraging people towards fraternity and good. And our state and our country totally illuminated by this love. We pray especially to the harmony and the healing in the White House of the United States. We pray for peace, for a new beginning to everyone. Glory to God, peace on earth and goodwill amongst humanity. Thank you, Master Jesus for embracing us with so much love and so be it. Dear friends, may this new day be better than yesterday. May we feel closer to God than we've ever been. We wish you lots of blessings. Lots of blessings. And stay tuned because here at Cardiac Creative, there's always more to nourish our souls. Thank you, friends.